Located in the northeast part of Hainan, Wenchang houses China's first open coastal launch base. The city is surrounded by water on three sides. Large heavy rockets or spacecraft that are impossible to be sent by rail or by road can be sent here directly by sea. Railways can only carry rocket transport with a diameter of under 3.5 meters. That size is enough for manned missions, but that does not limit China's space ambitions. Its Long March 5 rocket, for example, is over 5 meters wide. This is when Wenchang, with its maritime advantages, comes to the fore. Wenchang is the closest to the Earth's equator out of four China space launch sites. Now, why does that matter? Because the Earth spins and we all move with it. The closer we are to the equator, the faster we move. That speed helps the spacecraft keep up a good enough speed to stay in orbit. And thanks to inertia, the position of Wenchang allows for up 10% less of the rocket fuel consumption. And what about the dangers of falling debris from rocket launches? The coastal trajectory from the Wenchang site makes any wreckage go directly into the sea, therefore making it safer than inland launches. Last but not least, needless to say, just look at the view. A matchless seascape. Every time when Wenchang is on duty, tourists pour into Longlo Town. The small town owns a population of just over 20,000. But on the launch day, this beast welcomes tens of thousands of people. Wenchang has half of Hainan's coconuts. They say if you don't try this, you miss half of Hainan. Let me try it for you. Mmm, it feels so good. Here, China's space missions are not only broadcast on television and through the lens of media, but they're also recorded by ordinary people in their personal phones. And that's how people say China's space program goes global. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Wenchang.